Now, if your spidey senses are tingling, that's because we've got the news stories with legs, eight of them, <laughs> on In Case You Missed It. Well, every year, the Ulster County New York Board of Elections holds an online contest to pick a new design for the I Voted stickers that they give out at the polls. You know, you get those when mm -hmm. you go vote. Yeah. Well, usually the contest only draws about 500 votes total. This year, a sticker designed by a 14-year-old young man, Hudson Rowan, got nearly 158,000 wow. votes. They did a little better. Now, I gotta warn you, in case you've got kids in the room, this thing is pretty creepy. <laughs> you may wanna cover their eyes. Here it is, here's his sticker. Whoa. There it is, yeah. <laughs> It is a mutant head on spider legs saying, I voted. <laughs> now, Whoa. if that creepy monster is a New York voter, now I understand how they ended up with Andrew Cuomo as governor up there. Wow. Yeah. Playing a lot. Mm. Playing a lot. Yeah, it, that was created by Hudson Rowan. But honestly, it looks like something that was hallucinated by Hunter Biden. <laughs> by the way, Hudson was surprised that so many people liked it. But someone tweeted that this is exactly how voters feel about politics right now. Yeah. I think he's right. Oh, sure, this could all give you nightmares. But then so could some of the people who get elected. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was just wondering, is, is, you think the spider's venomous or... Yes, absolutely, <laughs> Venomous. We saw the picture of it. Right. There you go. If you've been watching the show for any amount of time, and I sure hope you have, you'll know that weird ice creams are nothing new. And at McDonald's, all throughout Asia, the competition for weirdest ice cream is really heating up. Yep, in China, they're now offering a spicy chili oil sundae. No kidding. And a cilantro oh. sundae. Oh, no, thanks. Does that just mm. really tickle your taste buds? Uh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Anyway, McDonald's Malaysia, they've got a sea salt sundae, which is not too weird. Yeah, I can handle it. Yeah. But, Keith, here's one for you. In Thailand, Thailand McDonald's offered an ice cream sundae with chili paste and pork mm. Ooh. on the ice cream sundae. Ooh. It was a limited time ice cream. Thank goodness. <laughs> Well, I think it means that if you eat too much of it, you'll have a limited time on Earth, is what that means. Because <laughs> after you eat all these ice creams and fall asleep, here's what you're going to see in your dreams, right here. That's what you're going to see. And that's scary. I you. like it, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've stayed at plenty of bad hotels over the years, but Swiss conceptual artists the Rickland brothers created a zero star, a zero star hotel room, and they did it on purpose. It's a bed and two nightstands <laughs> on an open platform by a busy highway next to a gas station. <laughs> there are no walls, no ceiling, no doors, no privacy, no shelter. And they don't even leave the lights on for you, like oh, Tom wow. Bodette. <laughs> Now the creators say the point is not to sleep, it's to make you lay awake all night reflecting on the state of the world, like climate change and war. I mean, isn't it depressing enough that you'd be staring at the gas station prices already? <laughs> Smelling fumes? Yeah. I mean, if I want to be too disturbed to sleep while I'm in a hotel room, I'll just turn on CNN. <laughs> <laughs> Or I always, I could watch this. Take a look. There. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, for our video of the week, we've got a real scoop. Don't ask me how, but I've been told that we've obtained video from the future. This video shows Nancy Pelosi in the future reacting to the news that Donald Trump is running for president again. Here it is. Okay, maybe Ooh. that really wasn't Nancy Pelosi reacting to Trump. Might have been an overexcited baby emu. Could, Could be. be. Yeah. Hard to tell the difference. <laughs> but <laughs> just be glad I didn't show you this. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right, now before I give you any more nightmares, let's end right there. But until next time, always remember, we read the news. <laughs> <laughs>